What's up guys, Tech Freak back here with another video, and in this video guys, I'm going to be showing you another top 10 city tweaks that are compatible with iOS 8.3. And this is part 3, so make sure you watch part 2 and part 1 for more tweaks like this. Now for the first tweak, it's called Rubik. Now what Rubik does, it allows you to preserve some battery with changing the state of cellular data. So let me show you what I really mean. So if we go to settings here and then go to Rubik, as you can see there's a skill switch up top here and then it will ask you to select the data rates of your country. So you can select 2G and 3G, 2G and 4G, 3G and 4G. Now for my country, it's 2G and 3G. So yeah, you can choose that and then the other the other settings will be unlocked. So, what I really mean by this, as you can see, there's an option here for lock and unlock. If I enable this option, which is change 3G state, as you can see, I'm on 3G right now. If I lock my phone, it's going to take it 5 seconds and it's going to switch to 2G. And that allows it to uh, preserve some battery and some data. So, if I lock my phone and wait for 5 seconds, because I set the delay to 5 seconds, you'll find it's going to switch from 3G to 2G and that's really simple it's very easy and it makes uh, the battery last a little bit longer when you are out outdoors and you can also change that for the Wi-Fi state so let's say you've got 3G enabled and then you enabled Wi-Fi now 3G is going to automatically disable itself if you select change 3G state or change data state which will turn off cellular data so that's really nice so Rubik saves a lot of battery and it's really a nice city tweak alright the next week is called kill background 8 now basically this allows you to kill all the apps that are in the multitasking switcher with a simple tap. So as you can see there's a button right here I've got all of these enabled now just by tapping on that all of them are going to be shut it down except for this one because I've set that this one does not shut down. Alright the next week is called Front Flash. Now let's take a look at this. This allows you to have a flash like uh, effect on your front facing camera. So I'm using my front facing camera and I hide it with my phone here with my finger here and as you can see there's a flash option up top. So if I tap on that I have all three options. So if I click on and let's see once I take a photo how will this affect. As you can see the screen will uh, put the brightness into maximum and this actually acts like, like a flash. Trust me I tried this and it's very nice so yeah this is front flash guys and it's very nice alright the next week is called record and torch now basically once you are uh, recording a video as you can see once you are inside the video you can no longer change a the flashlight and that's of course in default now with record and torch you have this option enabled so you can now change the flashlight inside while you are recording a video which is really nice another CD tweak is called record pose and it basically allows you to pose videos and uh, yeah it's very nice I don't know why Apple didn't put that into iOS 9 but basically by tapping right here as you can see it changed into yellow that means it stopped and then by tapping one more time it is back running so this is really nice so these are record and torch and record pause Alright, the next week is called Disable Parallax Effect. Now, I cannot show you this, but basically what this does is, as it promises, it disables the parallax effect that was introduced with iOS 7. Now, of course, there is an option inside settings to reduce motion, but this does not permanently turn off the parallax effect. You can notice that there is a little bit of motion, but with this tweak, you can totally disable it, and it saves a lot of battery. Alright, so let me show you two lock screen tweaks that are really nice. So for the first tweak, it's called Secret Lock. And basically what this does, it completely freezes your lock screen. So it, it's like it's adding another security layer, you know. There's no, even if you don't have a passcode, you know, it's like the phone is frozen. And you can set an activation method to disable that. So mine is double tap the locks the clock here and as you can see it gives you this animation and now it's accessible which is very nice and uh, as you can see I can access everything so this adds a little bit more security layer the another tweak is called transition this basically gives you a nice effect while lock unlocking your phone so as you can see you've got this effect and if you can set it to random it has a lot of other effects so of course I'll need to unlock that as you can see, this is a little bit of a time machine here, you know. 
Oh, this one is very nice. So yeah, it's transition and you can download. So these are secret lock and transition and they work working perfectly fine on iOS 8.3. The next city tweak is called Zeppelin. And as you can see, if you noticed, I've got a Batman logo instead of my carrier name. Now you can change that using Zeppelin and it's very nice city tweak and it's a very famous one actually. So if you go to settings and scroll down to Zeppelin, you have a kill switch up here and you can go ahead and choose a theme. You've got like themes like uh, Apple, Assassin's Creed, Autobots and Batman, The Dark Knight. As you can see it's very nice and you can also change the text. So you can add anything let's say Tech Freak like this and if I disable it as you can see it changes into Tech Freak. And it's very nice actually. So uh, yeah this is Zeppelin and uh, it works on iOS 8.3. Alright for the last tweak is called Blurry Badges and as you can notice the badges on my notification app is a little bit different they are colored and this is really nice because it gives the badges the same color as the apps as you can see Google Plus it's red Facebook it's uh, blue and it gives a really nice and fresh look to your phone so there's no settings to configure here except a few ones to edit the badges so yeah it's blurry badges and that was the final city tweak so thanks guys for watching this video if this did help give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this and I'll catch you all in the next one